Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is Smiles from Swiss Crypto Podcast, and in today's episode, I'm going to talk about private Swiss bank Julius Baer and its connection and stance on cryptocurrency. So stay tuned and let's get into it. One of Switzerland's largest banks, Julius Baer, has entered the crypto asset market with $382 billion of assets under management. The 125-year-old private banking giant appears to have raised the bar in the ongoing merger of crypto assets into the traditional financial sector. So what we've heard from the Swiss financial marketplace, from Swiss banks concerning cryptocurrencies and also from my podcasts that I did about some bigger banks from Switzerland like UBS or Credit Suisse, we know that Swiss banks are more likely to be open to cryptocurrency and that some of them even take a stance for cryptocurrency and say that it will be the future of the financial industry. And another bank that now is coming into the cryptocurrency sector is a private bank from Switzerland called Julius Baer. And as I mentioned before, Julius Baer is one of Switzerland's largest banks and manages over 382 billion US dollars in assets. And to explain why Julius Baer has taken that step into the cryptocurrency space, they say, at Julius Baer, we are convinced that digital assets will become a legitimate sustainable asset class of an investor's portfolio, Peter Gerlach, head markets at Julius Baer said in a statement. And that says all that we wanted to know and that I've been saying all the time, just follow the money, look at the big players where they put their money, where they will put their money and what they think about the future of the financial industry and where it's heading to. Um, we see lots of private banks coming into the cryptocurrency sector, especially from Switzerland, but not only. Um, I think that's one hell of a sign and also a sign that should let us small investors sleep a bit better at night concerning our cryptocurrency investments. Now, Julius Baer is not only offering their clients, their wealthy clients to invest in cryptocurrencies, Julius Baer is also partnering up with a startup that is working in the cryptocurrency space called Ziba. And that one is a startup based in the canton of Zug, the crypto valley of Zug. And to that new partnership arrangement, they say it is designed to provide Julius Baer clients with leading edge solution in the area of digital assets to meet an increasing demand. So two important things here. First one, Julius Baer Bank is going for the most elite tech when it comes to cryptocurrency and blockchain. They are searching for startups that have been working in that upcoming sector and that know what they are doing and they want to be at the forefront of this environment, of this new investing opportunity. So they've partnered up with a cryptocurrency startup to get the newest tech. Second point, very important point is that they also think and also Siba says that there is an increasing demand and that increasing demand is not focused on retail investors like we are. That increasing demand is coming from wealthy investors that have their money bunkered at private banks in Switzerland. And obviously there is a big demand there that they also want to invest in that space. Now, the move of Julius Baer into the cryptocurrency space has not always been that clear. Um, in fact, for a long time, Julius Baer wasn't that open when it came to cryptocurrency. According to Mark Bettinger, that has been working for 18 months at Julius before he left there in December 2017 when he pursued crypto projects in other startups. There actually wasn't that much openness when it came to cryptocurrency and that was mostly because of the CEO back then called Boris Kolardi. So back then 
until the end of 2017, the CEO didn't like cryptocurrency that much. So they didn't pursue an investment strategy in cryptocurrencies. Uh, in 2017, Boris Collardi was then replaced by Bernhard Hodler and with Bernhard Hodler and that name is actually perfectly fitting with Bernhard Hodler, um, that whole mentality on cryptocurrency changed. And that's exactly also what Mark Bettinger, the guy that worked there, was saying. The reason that Julius Baer has not been active in the past is that Collardi was always against cryptocurrencies. There may still be some voices at the bank who are against this project, but Hodler has made this possible because he is more open to cryptocurrencies. So you guys see a lot of the decisions in private banks are made by only the CEO and only by his vision of the financial sector at the moment. We can count ourselves lucky that this CEO now has this opinion about cryptocurrencies, not because we are now able to invest with that bank, but we are already able to invest by ourselves in the cryptocurrency market that will for sure grow and for sure come to other banks too, not only private banks in the future. Now, that's been it for this podcast episode. I hope you enjoyed the content I provided. If you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one.